Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikanth and today's video I am going to discuss how to serialize and deserialize Java dates using Jackson API. Right? Uh, so uh, already I have a couple of videos with uh, Jackson API. I will give all those links in the description section. You can watch those videos as well. Right? Uh, okay, uh, before proceeding to today's topic if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side right so here lot of videos are there like gate junit and uh, java 8 kafka and all right okay let's jump on to today's discussion so already i have a created a project it's a maven project uh, for simple uh, demo application for serialization and deserialization using uh, data binding Jackson data binding API right so this is the dependencies if you see this is the dependencies uh, dependency I have added in the pom.xml right so oh, no need to worry I will uh, upload this uh, repository into my github account and I will share that link in the description section as well right so this is that uh, channel class uh, this is the channel class I mean this is the model class if you can say and here a uh, channel means suppose it's a YouTube channel right and the what is the channel name category subscribers three attributes are there with uh, its uh, respective constructors and get us and set us as well right now let's we have added let's we have add a date field right so date date created means which date this, uh, this channel got created right let's take this util date so on what date the channel got created right that date we want pretty much clear now uh, for this attribute uh, we need to add in the constructor as well so uh, alt insert this is the, I, am, I have removed this constructor alt insert this is the shortcut in IntelliJ idea and constructor uh, then select all those attributes right constructor got created now uh, let's have get us and set us as well right uh, alt insert shortcut alt and insert in IntelliJ idea get us and set us uh, so already have all those get us and set us for this one let's do okay here we go right so this is a simple uh, simple channel class right we have created a model class now we need to create this object of this class and we need to send some set this data name category uh, subscribers and date created now and then after that we need to serialize right so for that one i have it uh, i have a class called op with the main method and here what we are doing i have created a channel object so now the channel have string uh, parameters right uh, we need to call this constructor with this parameter string string and integer and date so string string and integer is that we need to create a date object and we need to set that one right now let's see how we'll do that one right so which date format we i want so to create a date i need to specify the format so for the for that one one class is there simple date format formatter i have created a variable and here let me create this object with what is the date format i want so i want dd uh, and uh, mm and yyy right this date format i want right so it will throw some exception uh sorry it's a new right we need to create that object my bad so I thought some parsing or parse exception yes, this is there right okay so uh, next what we'll do next what it will do with this format with this formatter we need to parse right we need to parse and we need to pass that date what exactly date on which date my channel got created suppose uh, 1 1 2020 right so what it will return it will return a date let me store on a date right control alt l to format let's pass this date to this constructor 
pretty much clear we have not done any grade just simply we have created a date object and we are passing this date object to this constructor to create a channel object right that's done next what we are creating object mapper mapper equal to new object mapper right so whatever the serialization or deserialization will perform will using by using this mapper object control z by using this mapper object right so here and the next line what we are doing mapper dot enable right so we are enabling uh, this indent output right so uh, while printing that json it will show as a formatted json right pretty much clear now uh let's serialize this this channel object right so how will how will serialize this one by using uh, this one right mapper let me copy this one so simple and let's copy this line as well here we go and uh, here i uh, will print date right so what exactly we are doing over here mapper dot write value as a string and here we are passing this channel object right so it will it will give a it will give a json string right so it will convert this object this channel object to json string right and here we are printing that json string now let's see uh, how we are getting that date in that json right so if you see date created it's coming something uh some big integer right some integer value we are getting right so this is millisecond right the date is coming with a millisecond this is very confusing right so if i will give this uh payload so what you will guess so what is the date of created in which date it got created right so it's, it's very it's not easy to identify right so for that one we need to tell hey while while serializing this object keep the date with this with some format right so while serializing we need to tell what date format i want right while serializing uh, which date format i want to use so how we'll do that one we'll do in a two ways right so first is what we need to set a date format we need to set a date format to mapper object right so we need we can set set a date format to mapper object and second one this is for globally globally means if you are using this mapper object for serializing and deserializing of any class then it will applicable to all those classes right this is a global level but if you want to particular class level suppose in that particular class only you want then we we, we can go for json format at the rate json format so this is applicable for a particular class right now let's see at global level how we can do this is pretty simple this mapper right mapper dot set dead format if you see and what format i want whatever this format already have given this simple dead format right this one let me pass over here here we go now let's see run the application ready much clear okay if you see date created now we are able to get 0101 2020 right so hope you got it okay now let's go for second approach so in second approach let me comment out this one and let's go to this channel class simple we will annotate uh with, with this attribute at the red json format and there we need to pass something called shape equal to here this will json format string sorry this is capital json format dot shape dot this is shape this is coming right json format dot shape this is capital dot what we want what format we want string format right and then we'll provide this pattern 
pattern what is the pattern we want dd or uh, mm y y y y right pretty much done now let's run and see okay so i have commented out this right this formatter now let's comment and we'll gonna see okay so date created we got 31st 12 2019 right so this is because uh, i have identified one time zone issue so this is for that one so just see we do have date as a 0101 2020 so it is going one day back if you see it is going one day back right so this is because of time zone issues so to to do that one what we can do we can have we need to provide our time zone right which time zone i am running this application so uh, let's have this is also two way we can do to set the time zone either we can have either either we can have set the time zone uh, here to that mapper set time zone and time zone get default A default time zone i am using this is one way in the mapper directory we can have let's run this one if you see now it's getting 0101 2020 right so this is one way we can do and another way we can have let me comment out i have commented out and one more we have here we can provide time zone here we can provide time zone right time zone and what is the time zone we have asia and kolkata right in this way also we can do now let's go over there let's run it again perfect now we are getting 0101 2020 right so hope you got an idea that how will serialize and deserialize uh java util objects right using jackson data binding api